In the eastern curved stand, you can experience why the architecture of the Olympic Stadium has become so famous internationally. The visitor is surprised by the opening of the building on the opposite side. Your line of sight is explicitly directed through the two towering gateway constructions onto the bell tower standing far behind the stadium. It was a key concern of those responsible for national heritage to keep this line of sight clear because in one crucial point the modern stadium changed essentially. Take a look up at the roof. It certainly doesn't fit into the architectural style of the 1930s. The construction of steel, fabric and glass clearly expresses the style of the architects responsible for the reconstruction, Gerkan, Marg and partners. Folkvin Marg found a fantastic solution for the precise requirements of monument preservation to realise the opening of the roof. This was crucial, as the building had no roof in 1936, and thus the line of sight could be kept. The chosen construction is extremely complex. Just imagine a bicycle wheel from which you have cut away a part. It loses stability. Because of this, structural engineers prefer circular or oval forms because they make their task a much easier one. In this case, the roof had to be stabilised using 20 massive steel columns in the upper tier. These columns have a very delicate appearance to enable the best viewing conditions. The boundaries of what is possible in construction really have been reached here. I'm now standing above you on the roof, which spans a width of 68 metres from its outer edge to the end of the glass ring. Behind me you can see an impressive roofscape with its domed membranes of glass fibre. Light materials were used, as in extreme cases enormous additional strain can develop on top of the roof's own weight of about 3,500 tonnes. This can happen due to large volumes of snow or when the full impact of a storm challenges the statics. The picture shows you what is probably the most expensive snowplough in Berlin. When, in the winter of 2010, the snow load threatened to become too heavy, a low-flying helicopter had to expel the snow from the roof with its rotor blades. The inner part of the roof is also impressive as it protects the central components of event technology whilst also making a great visual impact. The inner edge of the glass ring houses the floodlight system. Its circular arrangement allows the playing field to be illuminated without shadows. In 2020, the old lighting system, which relied on metal halide lamps and fluorescent tubes, was replaced with an LED system. This new technology has reduced energy consumption by a whopping 70%. 6,000 LED floodlights provide 2,000 lux for the playing field, with an additional 1,500 lux available for the track. The new lighting has also prepared the stadium for the next jump in video image quality, from 4K to 8K, as higher resolutions always demand new lighting standards. The indoor space and the stands are lit up by a further 3,500 LED lamps. In total, there are 9,500 full-colour RGBW lights. Each one can be individually controlled from the stadium control room. The new lighting offers endless creative possibilities for lighting events. At the home games of the Berlin football club Hertha BSC, the stadium can be lit up in the team's colours, blue and white, at the cup final in the green of the German Football Association, and every other imaginable colour composition is now possible. This state-of-the-art lighting system gives the stadium a particularly special atmosphere at night, and I can hugely recommend attending an evening event here. The architect was also given the task of creating modern VIP areas in the stadium. Again, a compromise needed to be found with the Office for Monument Preservation, which allowed the restructuring of the open gallery in the middle of the southern and northern sides. Today, one can still move freely in the eastern and western curved stands, 
In former times, it was possible to walk around almost the entire inner ring of the stadium. Behind the new glass fronts, top VIP areas were constructed, which even at their smallest provide room for up to 10 people. Of course, the comfortable, easy chairs in the front exclusively belong to the arrangement. Contrary to the listed upper tier, the lower tier was completely demolished. The new construction is much steeper and there are two additional rows of seats. The Olympic Stadium is Germany's largest all-seater stadium with a capacity of 74,475 spectators. During the Football World Championships in 2006, the stadium received a huge media response. Guests from all over the world were impressed by its successful symbiosis of history and modernity. And, as a result, the Olympic Stadium moved into a new era. Since then, it has, without doubt, joined the ranks of the most renowned stadium buildings in the world. UEFA nominated Berlin as the location for its Champions League final in 2015. This meant a huge amount of preparation work, as, just seven days earlier, the DFB Cup final had taken place at the stadium. Staff, both backstage and front of house, worked around the clock to get things ready. Juventus Turin and FC Barcelona gave a thrilling match. The dream team of Lionel Messi, Suarez, Neymar, Iniesta, Xavi and Ter Stegen prevailed 3-1 against Gianluigi Buffon and his men. Buffon had to experience painfully that Italy does not always win in the Olympic Stadium. UEFA honoured the stadium by adding it to the list of Europe's elite stadiums. Currently, it's in Category 4. And it's been selected for Europe's next big footballing event. At least six of the European Championship Games in 2024 are set to take place in Berlin.